Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up and use Spawner Pro, the latest version of it, which has some slight or rather large changes to make it a lot easier to extend to your usability or your required uh, situations and so forth. So this, this is the example scene that comes with it. Just to show that it actually works and everything. So obviously it's just a simple spawning in a wave. Once all the things go away, it spawns another wave. Very simple. Uh, if we take a look at the spawner uh, prefab object, it has a spawn point, which is just a random location uh, away from the camera. We have the actual spawner. We have the units, which is just obviously just a square uh, prefab, uh, the spawn point editor which is obviously just the spawner points uh, and it's set to spawn randomly between those points. The spawn ID is uh, mainly used uh, for when you have triggers and you want to enable all the spawners by a certain thing although it's fairly easy just to get natural uh, reference to it and just not have to worry about the ID part of it. If you want it to spawn from when it starts, you obviously want to stick spawn on. Uh, and then it has our, the new thing, the newest system, where it used to have wave editor. I've taken that out and it now has specific uh, components that handle how to, to spawn certain things or how the spawning is going to be done. This is obviously the spawn wave one. Here we will show you some of the other ones. Um, under the spawn types, it's the spawn normal, spawn once, so it only spawns everything once. Uh, spawn time wave, so a wave is, uh, spawns after a certain amount of time, regardless if, if the wave has been uh, destroyed or not. And then we have uh, spawn time split wave, which uh, only spawns starts the countdown to a next wave after the time has finished after the wave has been destroyed and then a spawn wave is just it spawns in waves once a wave has been defeated it spawns another wave straight away and all of it uh, inherits from this I spawn type which is actually an abstract class uh, which has just a few features that is required um, and you'll see how that works in a bit, although I don't think I'll need to actually edit any of that stuff. But if you are looking to uh, specify a new spawn type or if your needs for the spawn normal, etc. doesn't do what you wanted or needed to do, you can inherit from any of these things and change the specifics of the data types, etc. You can change that uh, to be better suited to your uh, exact needs and so forth which is obviously a lot better than having to hack at the core the script as it was before just so you can change specific things etc. Now I'm going to go through and uh, set up some spawning stuff although it has was already done before with the previous version of uh, the spawning system so a lot of it is already pre-set up essentially and I just need to go through and set up uh, spawning types and modes and so on as that has changed. Okay, here we have a scene, it's just a very basic scene, etc. But I go to my AR spawner, as you can see I have a bunch of empty prefabs that just specify spawn points across the map. So, the spawn is just centered, mostly centered. Um, so yeah, it has uh, a unit for the easy spawn mode, which is all I need at the moment. It has spawn points, it has them all set up. I'm going to take spawn randomly off. Uh, since there's only one spawner, I don't need to worry about the spawner ID. And now I can go through and specify what kind of stuff I want to happen here. It's a time split wave, 
and since I have eight spawn points and I want there to be eight people, set it to eight. Give it ten waves to spawn and a thirty second timer. Make it a minute timer between each thing. Set to easy, so it's gonna happen on the easy thing. Can change this. Zero point one, so they spawn very quickly. And now if I click on play will see them all spawning in one position which is bad whereas they should have spawned all across the place maybe let's just spawn randomly on ah there we go they spawn in each position which is what I want and if I spawn in you can see the various units that have spawned there was a Spawn point underneath there, etc. And we can see how it all goes together. So that's a basic tutorial. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this helps you set up some stuff. It's fairly easy to to work with, and uh, hopefully it it works out for you. Thank you.